Rakesh brother, I am feeling really energetic because you are here and you are the person who has motivated me a lot. And because of you, I have learned many things in my life. And today we are making the video. This video is for those people who all are trying to learn English spoken. Many people have misconcept. They cannot learn English spoken without grammar. They are running for advanced structure. They are really good at in grammar. Apart from that, they are not able to speak. But you are the person who did not follow grammar. Apart from that, you are one of the greatest speaker. And I have seen many people attract because of your communication skills. So we will be starting this video. But before that, please introduce yourself. That will be really impactful or interrupted if you inter if you introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Shiva, for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Rakesh, and I'm from Hyderabad, India. So I like playing cricket, watching TV, exploring and new things on the internet, and making some making new friends from all over the world. So this is all about myself. I'm one of them. Who is your online friend in all over the world? Because you are from Hyderabad, and I'm from Delhi. And we have a good friendship. Am I right? Do we have a absolutely, good friendship? Absolutely, because absolutely we have a very good friendship. Uh, we know each other from last two years, more than two years, I can say. And uh, I also mm, met you uh, physically when I came to Delhi, and uh, uh, we also traveled together for a few days in Delhi or uh, Delhi when I visited Delhi, and you also. Uh, invited me and uh, uh, you invited me and we also travel the new places where we want to go. We have went there and uh, so that's the reason why we have a very good bond. We all we also have uh, we also talk regularly on the on the Google Meets and we do a lot of things. And so really that was the, uh, one of the greatest uh, experience with you. I was also having a good experience because I learned so many things from your side. The way you were suggesting me, Shivam, now you should do this, that, this life is not gonna give you that thing. So like you worked for me in those days as a mentor. Means you are the person who I can say Rakesh is mentor for me. Rakesh brother is mentor for me, I can say. But at the time we were together, like we were eating together, we were sleeping together these things were doing. So I have been motivated by you at the time a lot. And that's how we made a good bounding in us. That is okay. too true. Here I have one question so, that mm, I would like mm, to ask. Okay, I want to say something. Uh, it's not like mentor. I'm not, I'm not a mentor to anyone. It's, it's your efforts. It's, uh, you have done something extra in your life that's the reason why right now you are here okay i i might be uh encourage support you encourage you to do the things because all the people are doing the same thing okay a kind of a job an employment searching and searching a job in any of the companies so i think apart from that we have to uh we have to do something different so I, as by uh, as for my experiences in my life, I suggested you to do something unique. It it can be it can develop your skills, as well as you can able to uh, teach some of the people who who have a myth that they cannot able to uh, learn this language, they cannot able to uh, talk in English. So you made some of the people to talk continuously and uh, they also started uh, st started uh, developing their skills they were, when they're coming into the meeting. So it's all about your efforts. Might be I have given you some of the suggestions and uh, push you to do something in your life. That's what I did. I didn't, I didn't do any extra things uh, to you, but whenever we, you, uh, you were in a down phase. I uplifted you to do. Come on, you can do that because you are young right now. You can do multiple things which you don't have an awareness of it. Even I was also not aware of my capabilities and abilities. 
so if we want to grow if we want to uh, do something uh, different we have to take a different path then only we can do something for ourselves and for others as well okay but those as you are saying those things were like uh, so uh, like so small but those things were really impactful for me because my life had been changed by because of by those things and it credit goes to you okay we will be continuing this talk but before that i would like to ask one question sure actually many people are learning english by the help of grammar mm. uh, they become really good at in grammar but i have seen many people they do not speak are uh, really good and you are the person who did not follow grammar and you are the one of the greatest speaker in my opinion mm. so what would you like sure. to say on this P- should people follow grammar for learning english spoken or shouldn't they follow what should they do what should they do for learning okay okay uh so as per my suggestion or uh, as per my way of point your point i would like to say one thing that uh, i don't know like uh, some of the people who are learning grammar and they are also pretty good in speaking uh, speaking in english and they also have a good writing skill some other skills also they are having very good but still uh if they want to if, if they are not from the english background uh but they are struggling they want to speak in english i think uh, they should follow the path of listening and speaking that is one of the easiest way to learn any language without writing without reading very simple way if you want to learn in english if you want to uh if you want to talk confidently then you should choose this path okay grammar is also very necessary because grammar will identify what are the errors we are doing uh while we are talking with anyone but uh in the communication part i don't think so grammar play a very vital role because in communication part you need to talk continuously uh with uh, seeing in, in uh, uh you have to see uh, the eyes of others then you have to speak so like eye contact and some of the things body gestures uh okay and uh, the movement of your hands these are all indicates that you are pretty confident in that and you can able to do a lot of things by by doing such kind of things we we already we already know like a lot of people are saying that like the the big, uh, the big personalities they are saying that communication part like the body language part plays a huge role why because the person will identify you if your body language is something not up to the situation then if you are speaking good sentences and if you are speaking everything is correct but if your body language is something not matching to that situation definitely that conversation is not up to the mark yeah here so i would like to ask I... one more question okay mm-hmm. what was the one thing which helped you a lot while learning english is spoken first it's not one about... thing okay it's not about uh, learning english english i am learning this uh, just to have a communication just to talk with any uh, any of the persons from around the world wherever i go so this is what first this is my thought okay i also speak some other languages also so i want to say one thing it's just a language so don't extra do don't do any extra things to to make this thing to complicate like don't complicate the things just go with the flow and uh, yeah the hurdles will be there some of the things you cannot able to express it's okay you have tried your level best but try to maintain the things which is very necessary that is body language and gestures mm, really nice uh here one question is coming in my mind many people are lear- uh, many people are running for fluency they want to speak fast they want mm-hmm. to speak very really fast like what are doing man like that they want to speak matlab ki wo apne accent ko itna change karna chahte hain aur itna tej bolna chahte hain ki logo ko lage these people are really intelligent these people know english 
but what i have observed from you you speak so slow you speak with rhythm okay so what would you like to suggest those people who want to speak fast or who do not have idea how should they speak fast slow or with rhythm because i have seen many people they do not think about people are people able to understand or not they speak only fast and i was one of the, uh, i was the person who used to think so you have to speak fast as much as you can speak but when you suggested me so you need to follow pitch and pace you need to follow rhythm from that day i am trying to follow and might be i am able to follow those things so what would you like to suggest to those people okay uh, uh with one example i can able to clarify the things whatever the doubts you are having okay uh in in your class there are five children's who have a different mindset and they have a different way of thinking okay so what you will do you you cannot able to find, identify how what is their mindset first of all you need to understand first them you need to have a, you need to keep an eye on them like an observation observation means how they are grasping the things whether they are whether your uh, your thoughts are matching with them or not you have to match each and everything matching your body language sometimes we have to do some mirroring effects also mirroring like, effects means like if any any person is uh, uh, repeating some of the words we have to repeat those words why this is also playing some psychological role why because we we suddenly get attached to that that girl or a boy whoever might be means cut copy paste is it yes simply simply we have to do like if if anyone is repeating their uh, what do you call the words continuously you need to have a observation like what are the words they are repeating you have to identify mm-hmm. you will get to know definitely you will get to know just by listening what they are saying so those words if you repeat then that person will think that are he is singing like me only so, so right. all of a sudden the attention will shift towards you and he will start listening to you this is this is called a attention this is like a drawing an attention of anyone can i say this is a main pillar of uh, this is a main pillar of communication main pillar yes We, uh, whatever the things if you are matching definitely why like a lot of people say that okay you are a good communicator good communicator no i'm not doing any extra things not at all i'm just matching the things the way they are speaking why why can't i be like them then only i can go into the conversation it cannot be happen with each and every one to be frank out of 10 people at least you can able to do one or two if you start doing this if you start practicing this then you will understand the mindset not only about the students about lot of others also here i would like to say one thing i am the person who believe in cut copy paste people say hmm. do not become copycat people say do not go follow everyone but i say copy but those things we need to copy those are good like whenever i uh, when i did not know how to speak english so what i used to do if any person is speaking any word over and over so i used to write then i used to get uh, about to, about that word what is the meaning of that word then i used to follow means if you are here if you are using any word so i will copy that word and i will speak so what happens we improve our communication we improve our english so this is a thing which i follow uh, in my english it's not about copying shivam it's not about copying if i am repeating any of these uh, any of the words continuously that word may be useful for lot of other things lot of yeah, situations that thing you is really important you need to identify where i'm using that okay in what context i'm using that and why i'm using that it's okay. not about using using of the words it's about the understanding you will get to know because it's not an easy thing to do right now 
as uh, like as you get old as you get experienced then you will get to know lot of things about this uh, psychologically how we can able to do such, such kind of a things so it's like it's not like a small thing okay because there are lot of things which which can come out when depend upon the situation even i can even i cannot say you each and everything right now when the situation comes i can definitely able to say this these are the things we can we can uh, we can do much better just by listening to that person just by understanding okay. to this person. okay actually we should come to the question i asked one question to you what hmm. would you like to say to those people who speak really fast because many people okay. don't know do they have to speak fast or slow because i have observed in you you speak slow in rhythm like now you are speaking slow but i have hmm. seen many people and i have talked with many people they try to speak so fast first of all like i don't know whether they have a self doubt or maybe they are having some other things okay and they other mindset might be i'm not sure about that why they are doing that they, those things because whenever they are speaking fast they are thinking i also did the same thing when i was learning the things i was doing this such kind of thing it happens right when i started doing these things when i uh, went to uh, attend the english speaking classes over there i did the same mistakes why if i don't convey what was going in my mind like if i don't convey this message in couple of minutes maybe i can forgot maybe i maybe my brain get hang i cannot able to express so what i did so i did some certain changes okay changes of what speaking less speaking more listening oh, even though i am not listening actively not not my words okay if we are in the meeting okay and uh, everyone is everyone is want to speak everyone wants to raise their hand i want to speak i want to speak why we are in hurry i don't understand this thing because we have to make curry <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe they want to make curry i don't understand this even i'm not listening even i if if i started listening in the meetings also i'm not really active but one one thing i will do definitely that i will notice what words they are speaking and one based on those ask, words only sorry for interrupting you I in middle mistakes Like the way you are speaking, that is really nice. People are struggling for that. 